here today at Continental Dirt Contractors to check and adjust the hydraulic pressures of their Komatsu PC410LC-5 excavators. They've just rebuilt the main pump and it needs to have the hydraulic pressures checked and adjusted as necessary. We have installed gauges into the pilot pump output, both main pump outlets and the pump control circuits. The gauges from left to right are pilot pressure, front pump outlet, front pump control, rear pump outlet, and rear pump control. I use 6,000 PSI gauges to read main pressures and 600 PSI to read the rest. The pilot pump pressure regulator is a cartridge located below the pump. Turning the screw in increases the pressure. I set this pressure with the engine at low idle. The pressure will be higher when the engine speed is increased. The jet sensor relief valves are installed on the bottom of the main control valves. They adjust the negative control differential pressures that tell the pump what to do at no or low flow demands. Normally we would check differential pressures between the two hoses, but in this case we know these are okay. There are also negative control valves on the pump that can be adjusted. Since the pumps were apart and we know the jet sensor reliefs are close, we will be adjusting these to get the control pressures to between 50 and 70 PSI. Turning the screws in increases control pressure to stroke up the pumps. The pump has a cutout function that destrokes the pumps when pressure and flow take more horsepower than the engine can deliver. They are the top control screw and you can see a hose that connects both pump controls. Turning the screws in increases pressure to stroke up the pumps when the pressure is at the main relief settings. These are set to between 50 and 70 PSI with the engine at high idle and high mode set. The last adjusting screw is the TVC pressure. The screw is on the opposite side of the pump as the solenoid valve on the front pump section. There is a pressure tap for this adjustment, but I found it to be better to adjust this with cycle times and engine loading. Okay. We've started the engine now, and the pilot pressure gauge is showing just over 400 PSI. I'm checking the other gauges as the operator throttles up the engine looking for any problems. Once things have warmed up and stabilized for a bit, the machine is put in the H mode. The engine speed is raised to high idle. If the pilot pressure is good, I'll check the negative control pressures. If I have to, I'll adjust these to between 50 and 70 PSI, either at the jet sensor release on the main control valves or on the NC pressure regulators on the pumps. With the NC control set, we've raised the boom to the top and checked the main relief settings. Both pumps feed the boom, so we see both pump pressures. These are already set at 4600, so we'll check the cutout control pressures on the pump. Adjust them to the same 50 to 70 PSI. We'll check the relief valve settings on other functions next. The stick is also to pump flow. We'll be able to read both gauges at the same time just like the boom. The bucket function only runs off the rear pump so we should only see the gauge reading on the rear pump. The swing runs off the front pump and has a lower setting. The book spec is about 3800 PSI and this one's running around 4200. We're going to leave this one alone for now. Note the control pressure stays high when the swing is over relief. That's because the main pressure hasn't reached the cutout pressure point. Stays loaded. To check the travel pressures, you have to lock up the track. In this case, we put a pin in the sprocket teeth and let it lock against the track frame. The tracks run at a little higher pressure, and the cutout also runs a little higher and loads the edge a little more. All around performance can now be checked. I run cycle times on the boom up function. Factory spec on boom up from the ground to the top of the cylinders is about four to four and a half seconds. I'll adjust the TVC screw in to increase the speed, but it'll also put more load on the engine. Once I get the speed about right, I'll check the stick in and out cycle time the same way. 
Sometimes the stick function will put more load on the engine than the boom, so the TVC screw may have to be adjusted out a little for the best performance and fuel economy. When the pumps are balanced properly to the machine and each other, you can watch the gauges move almost in perfect sync. You can also hear how the engine carries the load. The last test of operation is to walk the machine in both directions to make sure it travels straight and has plenty of power on each track to turn. If that checks out, the machine is ready to be put back to work. A properly adjusted hydraulic system on these machines provides the best balance of performance, fuel efficiency, and ease of operation.